Vlogmas day seven. So we just woke up. Baby wakes up around seven now. No, eight, sorry. So we grabbed him and put him in our bed for cuddle time. And I'm gonna make some coffee, clean up the kitchen while the coffee goes. And then we're gonna look at how we're gonna plan our day and when are we going to daycare for baby. Papa's already gone to work. I just had my shower because it's my long shower, and I do not I do not like cleaning my hair and being wet hair at night, like having wet hair at night. It's not comfortable. So I clean it in the morning. I'm gonna try to style it before work, but I might not have time. And if I don't, I'm lucky because it'll just dry. Whatever, it'll just dry straight or in a bun if I put it in a bun. I'm making eggs for baby and I. He's having granola or throwing it everywhere. Let's see. And when I know I have some, I have a meeting at three. That's an hour long meeting for HR. So when I know I have these meetings, I bring baby later to daycare. So I'm bringing him at 10. So in 45 minutes. Because I know that I have to pick him up. I'll only be able to pick him up around like 4.30. So yeah, I should bring him even later, a little bit like 10.30. So that he's there. My my goal at his age right now is six hours. When he was younger, it was five. And I know that when I have the other baby, he'll be there a little bit longer because it's dad that's gonna have to probably pick him up sometimes from work. If I have the baby at home in January, it's gonna be pretty cold. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm still pregnant and I can still get him earlier. So I'm bringing him at 10.30, gonna pick him up at 4.30. And then we have our night together because his dad on Tuesdays has meetings. So we are going to have dinner together and I'm going to make a quiche. And that's it. That's pretty much it for now. I did my reading this morning. I'm going to try to find a way to do a little bit of movement and meditation. Usually I do movement when I'm cooking. So when I'm cooking, it's while it's cooking and he's eating. I'm going to like do either some moves on Melissa Wood Health app or just random mass moves that I like. Now I have to go watch him because I think he's throwing his food everywhere. Okay, there's some days I'm trying to leave the house and I feel like I can't do it. Okay, let's go my love. We're going. We're going to daycare. Basically when this happens is that every time I'm trying to leave, I'm like, oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do that. Oh, I have to do this. And I'm on a timeline, so that's not the time to be thinking. Be stuck. It's time to get the hell out of the door. Where's your jacket, Baba? You took off your hat. Jeez, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We're going. On the run, my hair is gonna be drying, so whatever. <laughs> That's the reality for me. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I hate that feeling. 
but this happens this happens not every morning is productive and organized but okay let's go to daycare and let's get this show on the road we'll just jump in straight in and we'll get everything going and that's just gonna help get a momentum and get going get going Guys, by the way, we had snow in November. I was covered in white, and now I like I'm wearing this vest because it's warm. How much is it? Wow, it's so fun. I'm talking temperature, but if you're not from here, this is so weird. Like, yeah, so we had snow before leaving for Mexico, and now we're back. It's seven degrees today. That's crazy. I think there's still snow up north though, because I wanted to get when I when we went to pick up the baby. You guys saw there was snow. Okay, back to our dance party music for daycare pre daycare dance party for baby look how small i look <laughs> that was freaking annoying so my our tires are not doing well for this trek we're changing them tomorrow so there's two that were super like low pressure and I was trying to, I was giving them air. Why can't I speak? <laughs> I'm too pregnant for this stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogmas nonetheless because I'm very pregnant for this. Okay, someone, someone showed up beside me and I'm like, hello, not, not vlogging beside you. <laughs> I look so tiny. So I was blowing air and this is my little trick for you and then I have to run because I'm obviously like I'm running late. I don't have time to blow up tires. Um, but in an annoying situation like this where I'm like holding my hands are cramping my belly is so heavy right now because I'm 35 weeks so the it's all pulling on my abdominals I'm like on the ground beside the pickup and I'm like this is so shitty and right away I was like okay this is a obviously a negative thought let's turn the situation around and while the air was was blowing <laughs> into the tires I literally took deep deep breaths so deep inhales deep exhales and looking at like whatever nature i can see around me i'm in the city but there's like trees behind and like whatever i was just trying to focus on that and taking deep breaths because when it, like when you have a busy day and you don't have time to sit down on your meditation pillow light your incense all these things oftentimes we're like nope i can't do my workout or i can't do my meditation because i'm not at the right spot like no that is better than nothing like we say for babies fed is better than unfed so we feed them how you want um and if you can fit in deep breaths within your day this is gonna help you so much to calm back your system down not get into annoyed modes and actually do your habits and actually calm your body down and calm your nervous system down so don't just do your habits like in a like don't be so rigid with your habits they don't happen i just meditated while pumping air in my tires that's how i had to be done today and I'm, I feel much better and more clear-headed. Is it the same effect as like my deep meditation where I have no distractions and I'm sitting down, my eyes closed? Of course that's better. But if that can't happen, still find ways to fit it in your day. Still find ways to move. Still find ways to walk up the stairs for movement or whatever it may be, like all these things. Find ways to read one page, two pages when you're waiting for something or waiting for someone. So yes, that's a little trick to still keep your habits daily. So they happen every day so you don't forget to do them but without pressure of doing them perfectly okay i need to go run an errand i get stuck in the like recently i don't know why i get stuck in the car or like by the window i get stuck like answering messages and i get into like these conversations about certain things so there's a lot of groups that i'm a part of in regards to my hr work so obviously i have to i have to answer those sometimes and then i got stuck in the car but i have to go run an errand for work what the hell i have to go run an errand for work so i gotta go pay some parking run an errand and then i'll actually sit down in a coffee shop and from all these convos I'm having, make sure that my to-do lists are happening. So if you ever have like a lot of emails or conversations or like groups or WhatsApps or whatever it is, or Slack, so a lot of people have Slack, a good trick or good rule of thumb is to take a second, like like have those conversations and those conversations are meetings, either convos or when you have meetings, they're gonna generate certain to-dos and certain tasks. 
So make sure at the end of those meetings, you take a moment in your day to sit down and from those meetings, write down what is the to do that I need to do from this meeting that I need to work on. So is it a project? Is it a to do? List? Is it a task? Is it a quick tick? So what do I need to do? And am I, um, yeah, what do I need to do and when am I going to do it so that it gets done and you have a follow up of, so you have a follow up of all your things, case and some yeah, so that you don't go to a next meeting or a next conversation with someone and they're like, hey, you didn't do this. We spoke about it and you never did it. How to not miss out on doing it is take a moment after and to write it down. Wow, let's also share when we're in a pissy mood and getting caught in the rain with a freaking tire situation again. <sighs> Trying to go get a sandwich. The whole coffee shop is overflowing because of the match. World Cup, like I can't even sit down to get work done, so I can't go to the place where I wanted to eat and get my work done before my doctor's appointment. I'm annoyed. Third world problems. <sighs> now I don't know where to go. This is no time, like, I don't have time to think of where to go. I just wanted to go where I know, sit down, and get some work done before the doctor's appointment. This is really annoying me. I need to shift my mindset. I'm just gonna drive, listen to podcasts I like that's gonna shift me into another mindset because right now I'm just clearly annoyed and oh, I'm really drenched <laughs> doesn't show but like oh my god I'm wearing faux fur like oh yes great idea in the middle of the rain fuck <laughs> what a gloomy day apart from getting drenched in rain because of uh, tires that I need to blow up I really don't mind rain I don't mind gray days because I just make the most of it so when it's gray days and rainy I'm like okay yes let's hunker down have a coffee get some work done and I'm excited about it and a lot of people are affected by the weather so that's why I'm touching on this because it should not affect you you should be okay you should not let it put your mood down like find ways to love it and have an enjoyable moment in regards to the fact that it's raining like me like with my coffee and hunkering down for work and find ways to make it enjoyable for yourself so that you're happy even when it's raining because you should not be sad because of that all right so i'm gonna park now i'm literally in two kilometer traffic i feel so bad because i have a big meeting with the owners of the main plans i have for the group of bars and restaurants for hr and the meeting went long and it often does on on tuesdays which is really fine it was a great meeting but then i feel bad because poor baby i'm picking him up like much later than usual and i know that if i don't pick him up at like for if i pick him up later than 4 30 he gets super like anxious he gets like he knows it's not normal you know so he'll like be upset and hopefully get there quickly and he feels fine then i gotta run home and figure out like, i'm supposed to make a quiche for dinner but i feel like i get an eggs this morning i don't want eggs again Let's see what we're gonna do. I have no idea. But it's in those ones that I'm just like trying to improvise and make the best out of something, which is clearly not, it's not the best right now. <laughs> it's just stressful basically. So we will chat when I get home. I have nothing else to say except let's hope this traffic gets cleared. And I can get to my baby quickly because I miss him. And we had our appointment at the doctor. The baby in my tummy is doing great. <laughs> There's so much for that. Like, that's such a load of like checking on this baby, checking on that baby. When is this appointment? This is so annoying. Like, these wipers, I don't know how they work. They're always going the same speed. I'm so confused. Okay. We'll chat later, guys. I'm depleted anyway, so I can't even think straight or give you any until i have no more battery but i want to film this little skit this skit <laughs> this skit for you i'm stuck at this huge red light where there's four lanes red light and it's like you just get stuck here so bad anywho i'm like thinking of priorities and, and all of this and how important it is to set your priorities so if you're feeling burnt out and you feel like your life is taking over and work is taking over or something else like for me today let's say i'm going i finish work later than i'm supposed to but this happens once in a blue moon like usually it doesn't happen because my priorities are so clear and it's clear for me what's which what takes priority in my own life what do i value the most and i got clear on that so that my decisions are made around that so if you feel like 
you're depleted and you're burned down and all these things oftentimes if you look at your priorities and your values and if they're aligned with your life this is where you're going to be able to have so much power so first of all take your power back i always say this but second of all look at your priorities look at if they're prioritized are your priorities and are they clear to you like are they clear are your values clear to you and is that prioritized is family a priority yes okay so is your life like around that is your life prioritized around your family do you make decisions and according to that do you make sure you see uh, each set of each family each side of the the like let's say for us we make sure that we see uh, each side of the family so my partner's side and my side once a week and that's part of our it's part of our busy life it's our life's busy but because it's a priority that gets penciled in and it's prioritized over maybe going to see friends because for us that we chose that for example or for me and my work schedule that I told you a little bit about my my priority is my babies right now they're ones on my tummy and ones um Day here. We're going to get them right now. I can't wait. But my priority is them right now in their early years because I'm never going to get those back. So my decisions are made around that. My schedule is made around that. My Their schedule is made around that to spend the most time I can with them and to have like those important moments with them. So that's my priority there, you know? And then also my relationships are priorities. So I went on vacation last week and we left the baby with the grandparents and he had his time with them and we were prioritizing the couple in that moment and really giving like four days no work no babies like undivided to the couple and then we were able after a year and a half of having our first kid because he's a year and a half of closing so many files and just understanding each other and just being together because when you have kids and business and all this it can get very overwhelming and you can never finish things so i'm going on a bit of a rant but my point is like if you feel like you're not, you're overwhelmed and you're burnt out it's because probably you're you're doing things for exterior motives or other people's agenda so are you waking up in the morning and seeing all your emails and answering everyone's agenda or are you already clear on what your agenda is and then you're trying to fit people in with their demands and requests are you doing things for money are you doing things for like a validation from other people or are you validated within yourself and do you feel validated with what like are you validating yourself because you are so clear on like what you're doing and where you're going your direction that you don't need a golden sticker from someone or you don't need a thumbs up because you're on the path that you decide and you're fully in choice right because you prioritized and you were clear on what it is that's important to you so i hope this made sense but like this little pep talk for you on overwhelm if you are feeling overwhelmed look at your priorities my love look at your values and get clear on those because they change sometimes we have values that are not our own and we want to be clear on what it is we prioritize and what and what it is that we need to prioritize so we know how to do it afterwards i'm gonna go now because i'm in the dark and it's probably annoying for you guys i'm sorry <laughs> i'm gonna go get my baby i'm there in two seconds as soon as I put down the baby, so 7, 7.30, I'm like, peace. I'm not doing shit. No, honestly, it's like, for me, it's like, yay, now I can freaking relax. And usually I'll do a cleanup or I'll clean up before, right before he goes to bed. Usually we're two, so I have helped for bath and then I can clean up or whatever. But right now the house is a mess and who freaking cares? So yes, who cares that you have a pristine, perfect home like social media? That's not reality. Sometimes you're pregnant and you're tired or you're not even pregnant, you're just tired and you don't want to do it. And that's okay. Like there's literally pasta everywhere. There's pasta I have to put away in the Tupperware, but my partner was going to have some, so I'm going to wait. There's pasta. The baby was like playing with his dinner so much tonight and we were in a rush. So that was really tough. Um, but yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> this is my Tuesday. Some some days are busier than others, and something's gonna fall to wait to wayside. So, what was more important, like spending an extra ten minutes playing in the bath with the baby and like really connecting with him, or was it cleaning up the pasta for ten minutes? Like I'd rather waste my energy on my priority, which is my baby and my house. I want it to be nice and clean and all that, but that's gonna happen tomorrow morning when I have the energy to do it. I'm going to chill, I'm going to edit these today's vlogmas, I'm going to watch some vlogmases, I'm going to read the book that I just downloaded on my Kindle that I'm so excited. The book is Mastery of Love, so when a book pops into my life and I get really like an urge, like a crush to read it, like this kind of like attraction to read it, I jump on it all the time because when I do, every time I have done that, even though I'm reading other books at the moment, 
every time I've done that, they're like the best books I've ever read. The ones I love the most, so I really listen to those gut feelings. I'm still going to read my book, Mastery, no, what is it called? Becoming Supernatural. I've almost done that one. I finished one for Vinveke, and I have another fiction one that I read before bed, but now The Mastery of Love One. Ooh, la, la. It looks so good. So it's the same art, er, artist. I guess he's an artist. It's the same author as The Four Agreements, which is very popular. I didn't know he had written six books, but he has. So Don, Mc, Don Huli, what is his name? Oh my God. I'm pregnant and my memory used to be amazing. I used to know every lyric of every song and now I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, Mastery of Love, look it up. I just started and I'm already like, Whoa, this is so good. I'm high I highlighted so much already in the three first pages. I'm like, okay, I should just highlight all of it. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna watch some Vlogmas, edit my Vlogmas and get my makeup off because I look like I already smeared it because I was stuck in the rain all day. I hope you guys had a beautiful day. I hope that my talk on priorities inspired you to sit down with yourself and look at your priorities and your values and make sure that you're putting yourself first so that your cup is filled and then you can fill everybody else's cup in your life. So love you guys and we'll chat tomorrow's vlogmas. Bye.